Hello. <clears throat> it's now time to read chapter six of Save Me a Seat. And this chapter is called Joe. So I bet it's about Joe. <laughs> Joe. Mom is parked at the curb waiting in the car when school lets out. Her old parking sticker from Mercy Hospital is stuck to the windshield. She used to be a nurse there, but she had a bunch of other nurses. Uh, she and a bunch of other nurses got laid off right before Christmas last year. After that, everything changed. None of the other hospitals around were hiring nurses, so Mom had to go on unemployment, and Dad took a job driving a truck route because it paid more than he was making at his old job at Walmart. At the end of August, when Mom found out Einstein, it's a school, was looking for a new lunch monitor, she applied for the job without even asking me first. Hop in, she tells me, leaning out the window. No, I answer, too mad to even look at her. I'm sorry, Joe, she says. It was an accident, force of habit. Would a slice of pizza help make it up for it? <laughs> help me. I shake my head. She broke her promise, big time. A million slices of pizza, uh, uh, Slices of pizza isn't going to make up for that. Hop in, she says again. No, I tell her, I'm walking home. Walking helps me think. Not that I really want to think about all the crummy stuff that happened today. Is it possible to have a worse first day of school? Ma, after Mom drives away, I hear someone calling my name. Joe! I turn around and see Mr. Barnes hurrying up to me. I was hoping I might run into you. He says, How's it, how did it go today? I feel something hard swell up in my throat, and for a minute I'm scared I might start crying. But I swallow a couple times and the feeling goes away. It's okay, I guess, I tell him. <clears throat> How do you like Mrs. Beam? I, he said. I shrug. She's shorter than me, I say. Mr. Barnes laughs and pulls a pack of sugarless gum out of his pocket. He offers me a piece, but I shake my head. Sugarless gum gives me a headache. How's our old friend Mr. Sam Ream doing this year? I think about the time Dylan called Mr. Barnes behind his back, called him, called him the name behind his back, and the day he brought his uh, pink hacky sack to school. A word my mother would wash my mouth out with soap for saying, oh, he used a bad word. That Dylan, I'm starting to not like that Dylan. He's not my friend, I say, and no offense, but I don't think he's your friend either. The world is full of Dylan Sam Reams, Joe. That's true. Mr. Barnes always says, Wrapping, <clears throat> unwrapping, oh, he says, unwrapping a piece of gum and putting it in his mouth. The trick is to not let them get to you. I wonder if Mr. Mis Mr. Barnes has ever seen the look on the face of a zebra who's just stepped into the cro crocodile's mouth. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, I say. If you want, I can write it down for you. Mr. Barnes starts pulling out a pen out of his pocket. The hard <clears throat> lump in my throat swells up again. Mr. Barnes knows I have trouble remembering things unless they're written down. That's okay, I tell him. And by the way, I like your new tie. I wonder if anyone in Mr. Barnes' class this year will memorize his ties the way I did. You remember how he memorized the sequence? Mr. Barnes looks at his watch. He says he's sorry he has to run to a faculty meeting, but that I should uh, feel free to stop by his room anytime to chat. Hang in there, Joe, he tells me as he walks away. My stomach grumbles. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. I think about my mother's offer to take me out for pizza, and I get mad at her all over again. <laughs> How could she do that? Blow me a kiss right in front of everybody. Oh, that would be embarrassing. What part of no corny mom stuff doesn't she understand? Normally it takes me uh, uh, half an hour to walk home, but I'm not in any hurry today, Mia, my dog, is waiting for me at the door when I finally get there. She's so happy to see me, she falls all over herself, <laughs> wagging her tail and trying to lick my face. Cut it out, Mimi, I laugh, pushing her away. Your breath smells like liver. <laughs> Mom has been waiting for me, too. One of her cooking ma magazines is lying open on the couch next to her. I can tell she's been crying, Aww. because her nose is red. What took you so long, Joey? She asks. I was beginning to worry. Can we talk? I don't want to talk, I say. I go to the kitchen, grab a couple of oatmeal cookies out of the jar on the counter, and pour myself a big glass of milk. Oh, that sounds good. Mia follows me upstairs to my room. I take off my sweatshirt, toss it on the floor, and shut the door. I'm starving, but I'd rather skip dinner than have to sit across 
the table for mom after what she did. Oh, he's mad at his mom. Oh, sometimes that happens. His mom is, seems very upset. I don't think she meant to hurt his feelings. Oh, the story's getting good. I think Joe has some good people in his life. He's just having it a hard time right now. Well, we'll pick it up next time with uh, Chapter 7. So that was Chapter 6 of Save Me a Seat.